What's going on everybody? John B. here out Lake Juliet and uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, dysreflexia. Uh, dysreflexia is uh, very common with people with spinal cord injuries and uh, what it is is uh, your brain doesn't communicate any longer with the part of your body that's paralyzed so uh, below the, your injury level you know it's not letting your anything happens it's not letting your brain know what's going on and uh, well it lets it know but you can't figure out what it is because you don't know what part of your body it's, com it's coming from so uh, for, I'll give you my example for me is I'm paralyzed from the chest down and um, if something you know with my toes my pants can be too tight uh, my bowel bladder needs to be emptied uh, toenail ingrown toenail anything anything like that can uh, cause dysreflexia and when you get dysreflexia uh, for me I get a real bad headache it's like uh, having a brain freeze from ice cream but uh, that won't go away until you figure out what the problem is so uh, when I start getting this feeling of dysreflexia my blood pressure goes up my head starts hurting and I start sweating above my injury level and from then I got to figure out what's going on with my body so I'll start you know examining myself seeing uh, what could be wrong and like I said it could be anything that uh, something hot something something cold or anything that's uh, touching your body or you know anything can set it off so um, with the dysreflexia like I said once you start looking for it and figure out the problem when you find a problem and you fix it your blood pressure automatically drops back down the headache goes away and uh, but it makes you very very fatigued after that you're just like war slap out but uh, dysreflexia with the blood pressure going up it can cause a stroke or a heart attack which is you know dysreflexia is one of the killers of small cord injuries if you can't figure it out you can you know stroke out or you know had a heart attack and die and uh, some people take a nitri nitroglycerin for theirs but uh, the only bad thing about doing that is uh, when you rub it on you when your blood pressure does drop when you figure out the problem it can drop too low so yeah dysreflexia uh, uh, if you know anybody with a spinal cord injury or you know you're work, working with someone with a spinal cord injury uh, that's one of the things you got to watch out for because it's uh, pretty dangerous and uh, it's very scary also at the same time and I've all already learned that uh, this isn't taught in schools so when you get to the hospital or the EMT paramedics come they uh, don't have any clue what it is but um, so you have to try to explain to them what's going on while you're in this pain and uh, a lot of times I'll just tell them to look it up and uh, read about it and they can go from there and you know diagnose me and stuff like that so yeah um, if you're ever around anybody with dysreflexia you know help them find out what the issue is and uh, go from there and um, my first time experiencing it was uh, my bladder was full when I was first injured and I didn't have any sensation and I didn't realize my bladder was full so uh, I started getting really bad headache, high blood pressure, and um, I went to go to Kath, and when I arrived there Kath, like I said, everything just calms down. You feel a lot better, but you're wore out from your blood pressure being so high. And um, when I was in the hospital, they also gave me an example, was a guy was in there, and uh, he had really bad dysreflexia, and they were trying to figure out what was wrong with him, so he took his shoes off, took his socks off, checked his pants and all that, but when uh, they transferred him onto the mat to figure out what the, you know, see if they could roll him over, see what the issue was, he had been eating popcorn and the popcorn kernel had um, fallen up under his uh, leg. So he was sitting on the popcorn kernel and it was poking into the back of his leg. And uh, once he got off it, you know, everything went back to normal. So uh, yeah, I just want to give you a few examples of the dysreflexia and let you know what it is. And, um, you know, hopefully, if you're new to a spinal cord injury, uh, I know you're, you're going to experience it sometime, but uh, hopefully it's not really bad. And uh, you know what to do from now on. And um, so yeah, hopefully you've learned something from this video and I'll see y'all in the next one. You yeah, have a good day, later.